Hello, my name is James McGing. I'm a developer with NitroCell. This is a NitroCell explanatory webcast on adding fractional quantities to items in your store. Whereas up to now the stores have supported selling items singularly, we can now sell items in fractions. The way we do this is we enter PAM, NSC PAM, and under attributes we add a new attribute. We call it something memorable. In this case I've called mine fraction sold by and I've entered into the attribute name. Under attribute type select string then press OK. As you can see items can be sold by different fractions. So these few items here are sold in twentieths, these are sold in twelfths, and up here certain items are not sold in fractions at all. If no number or string is put beside the fraction sold by, then the item will be sold as an, is an integer. So you'll be able to sell one or two or three of them. Down at the bottom here, these cloths, I've decided that you can buy them in decimals. So here you can enter either a D, a deck, or a decimal. It doesn't really matter. Once you've selected each of the items that you want to attribute a fractional quantity to, and entered the fractional quantity, remember to commit the changes to your RMS database with this button here. Once you've committed your items using NSC PAM, you need to open NSC Sync so we can tell the web store database about what you've done. Under the configuration tab here, we have several options. Under advanced, we have field mappings. Under items, we have all the different item information that is passed from the RMS database up to the web store database. Among these are some well card fields called web links custom text. I've used the custom text field 3. So by right clicking in empty space, I can add a new field. I'm going to add a PAM field this time. I'm going to select from the drop down the field that I'm interested in. In this case, it is the fraction sold by. That will be whatever you called your column in PAM. The remote field name is the name of the column in your in the database on the store. We're going to call it product underscore web links with an X custom text followed by a number. That number will be one that you have not already used. Because I've used number three already, I'm going to call this text number two. I press OK, OK, and I sync with my store. Once your store has synced with your RMS database, we have to tell the store where to find the information that it's looking for. We do this in the Web Store Manager. Under Configuration Web Store Product, at the bottom, we find Enable Fractional Quantities. Opening this up is a little box to tick, and we have to select which custom text field we put the information into. In this case, we put it into Web Links Custom Text 2, so I select that and I save. Now that the Web Store knows where to find the fractional quantity field that it needs, we can go to the Web Store. Here is my Web Store with some products. If we select on a product, let's take a tiny white dot and red ribbon, we can note we notice immediately that the quantity field has changed. We now have a drop down box for integers and we have a drop down for fractions. As you can see this product is sold in twentieths. If we take something else such as plain cloth, which I had the D deck or decimal beside, you'll notice if I open up it allows you to sell in items such in amounts such as this. So to summarize, all the products on this web store can now be sold in as integers if there is no fraction quantity field set for it, or it can be sold in decimals if a decimal has been entered into the field, or it can be sold as fractions if a fraction was entered against it. This goes through to the basket where a decimal has been entered, and on to the checkout. If 
I go back into the ribbon and I add some ribbon to my basket, say 1 4 twentieths, and I go to my basket, again depending on what you've selected you'll have different options available to you. All of this is changeable in CSS to make it look prettier. If you already use some options available to you, notably the restrict purchasing to in-stock quantity only or restrict purchasing to multiple quantities only, then there are situations in which you may not use fractional quantities. This is covered in more detail on a blog that you can find on the NitroCell website under blog. It is also covered in more detail on the knowledge base on the partner portal. If we enter fractional quantities, there we can find an article that deals with fractional quantities, how to set it up as described in this webcast. If you can't get it to work, ensure that your store is on beta because as of March 2012, this is only available on beta. Ensure that you have an entry in PAM for each of the products that you're trying to sell as a fraction. Ensure that you've synced your store and that the web store manager is looking at the right field. Other places to look for help are in the knowledge base, in the blogs, or if necessary, you can always open a ticket with our support team and they will be happy to help you. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I'm James McGing. I'm with NitroCell.